Hello, and welcome to Storytime for All Kids. Today's story is Prehistoric Pinkerton, written by Stephen Kellogg. Hi, Pinkerton. Did you know that scientists have found the bones of giant dinosaurs that lived around here millions of years ago? They think that dinosaurs are the ancestors of today's animals. Maybe your great 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 grandmother was a stegosaurus. Billy Barrett and I were going to wear this stegosaurus suit to the museum this afternoon as part of our class dinosaur day pageant. But now he's sick and can't go. Pinkerton, why are you eating the broom? Something's wrong with Pinkerton. He just ate 13 pencils and a broom and now he's chewing on my bedpost. The book says that he's begun the teething process and that he will experience a strong urge to chew until he loses his puppy teeth. I bet Pinkerton would love to chew gum. The book suggests that Pinkerton chew on something hard like a rawhide bone. Right now he's chewing on a tree in Mr. Arno's yard. I'm sorry, Mr. Arno. Great Dane puppies can be a real problem, but we'll get Pinkerton through this stage with an order of rawhide bones. That's not a Great Dane puppy, it's a giant beaver. Keep that monster off my property. Oh dear, I'd forgotten that your piano teacher was coming today. I'll begin by showing you the new practice drills. This instrument needs tuning. Its tones are quite unstable. Excuse me, Professor, but I think that the problem is being caused by Pinkerton. Oh, I feel faint. I'm going to drive the Professor home. When you leave for the museum, make sure that Pinkerton has one of these rawhide bones to chew so he doesn't destroy the house. I hope you feel better soon, Professor. Yikes! There is no way I can leave you here alone. I'll have to hide you in the Stegosaurus costume and take you to the museum. Now remember, Pinkerton, it's important for you to keep quiet and behave so that everyone will think there are two kids in this costume. I love you too, Pinkerton. Class, it's an honor to introduce our guide, Dr. Xander Fosaurus, the director of the museum and an expert on prehistoric life. I adore dinosaurs and I have devoted my entire life to collecting their bones. I'm particularly proud of this display which contains some of the world's rarest fangs and molars. Unhappily, I will never know the thrill of meeting a living dinosaur but I can experience something of that excitement when I view this stupendous skeleton. Pinkerton, come back! What are those children doing? No one is permitted to approach the skeleton. Merciful heavens, it's a dog! Mobilize the staff, call the guards, alert the pound. Surround the mongrel. He's stealing a priceless bone. Pinkerton can't help what he's doing. He grabbed that bone because he's teething. Look, his puppy teeth are coming out. The teething process is over. Pinkerton and I would like to donate a tooth to your dinosaur dental collection. That's absurd. The museum wouldn't think of displaying a common puppy tooth. But Pinkerton's great 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 grandmother may have been a stegosaurus. And meeting Pinkerton is probably the closest you'll ever come to the thrill of experiencing a living dinosaur. And besides, Pinkerton is a lot friendlier. The end. I hope that you enjoyed this story. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.